This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Lesson 17, Complex Sprite Movement, Part 4. Um, I already see code here, so I just got to test it out. I want to know what's going on. Oh, that is the slowest rock ever. That's not much gravity. And then do we have other animations? Nope, just the rock for now. All right, so interesting. Let's see. Falling rock. The rock should speed up as it falls down the screen. That would make sense. That's how gravity works. Can you use the same counter pattern with velocity x inside the draw loop to make the rock go faster and faster? So by counter problem, they're just asking us to increase uh, velocity y each time the draw function loops, right? Because the draw function loops, I don't know, 25, 30 times a second, goes over and over and over. And so what we're wanting to do is increase the speed. Use the counter pattern with the y velocity to make the rock speed up when it falls. Now keep in mind with the y. y0 is way up at the top, actually. This is 0. So y400 is way down here. So to make something fall, fall, you actually want to be adding to y. right? In my head, I'm like, oh, I would want to decrease because I'm going down. No, no, no. With this type of graph, you're going to want to add addition to y. So what are we going to add to? Well, first, we need our equals. And then we're adding to, we're going to be adding to our rock variable because we create this rock sprite at 250, right? 200x, 50y. We set it to the animation rock and we put our velocity at 0.5. So now I need math because I need addition. And then our sprites, I need our sprite y velocity. We're going to need this twice. And then I'm getting rid of this just so I can see it easier. Um, you don't want that to say sprite though. Our sprite's name is rock. We created the variable rock. And now I get to choose how fast. I'm going to say if it starts at 0.5, I don't know, 0.3. All right, so keep in mind, the draw loop runs many, many times a second. So now each time it runs, it's going to say, well, let's say the first time it runs. It's going to say rock.velocity. Okay, that equals 0.5 the first time it runs. I'm going to add 0.3 to that, and now equals 0.8. I'm going to draw it moving faster. I'm going to loop back around. I blank out the screen, and we're not even going to see the blank screen. It draws too quick. Blank out the screen to cover up the old animation. Add 0.3 again, so it would be at 1.1 now. Draw the sprite again further down the screen. Zoop, zoop, over and over and over. Let's see if uh, we got it. Kwaboom! One more time. Awesome. And it looks like... Ooh, can you make the rock spin as it falls? I have to do the challenge. All right, so we did make the velocity speed up. Let's change up the rotation. So... We're going to do something similar, I think. We're going to do equals. Uh, let's do... We can add... We could decrease rotation speed too, I believe. Uh, no, we would want to add to it. All right, now I'm going to drop in that and that for rotation speed. Now, we don't have anything named sprite, so just like before, rock. Whoopsies. I'm going to hit control Z to undo. And now rock plus, um, I don't really remember what rotation sets off at, so I'm going to say 0.3. All right, let's test this out. <laughs> so we did get it to rotate. So not only did we do the regular part of this, we did the challenge. And again, here is the code that was working for me. Great, onward.